you. We turn now to Avador Burnett, live at the Shemenek Funeral Home in Nottingham, where a long line of people have paid their respects to Officer Caprio. Avador. Well, they, they are, there are two cruisers right here with bunting over them. At one point or another, they belonged to Officer Amy Caprio. Earlier this afternoon, there are lines of people down the block waiting to go inside and pay their respects. The lieutenant governor was also here. Broken heart says brothers and sisters in blue remember Officer Amy Caprio. I'm a better person because I worked with her. Barry Jordan trained a young Officer Caprio and said she was special. Always willing to help, cheerful, would help anybody anytime. She was um, a solid officer. She was always in a good mood. The line of people waiting to pay their respects at the Shimanek funeral home went for more than a block. It's terrible. Shouldn't have happened. And there were gestures of solidarity up and down Bel Air Road for a young officer killed in the line of duty. I never personally met her, but just what I've heard, she just sounds like a wonderful person. Officer Caprio was weeks shy of her four year mark in the Baltimore County Police Department. His colleagues mourn a young officer's life. She's the person you called for help. Um, she's the person you relied on. She's the person when you hear she's coming to your call, that's, that's who you want there on your call. They also remember her legacy. She was the best of best friends. I don't know how she had the hours in the day to be there for everybody. Bel Air Road between Chapel Road and Honey Go Boulevard will be closed until 10 tonight as the viewing continues. There will be a third viewing open to the public from 7 to 9 tonight. Reporting live, Average Roy Burnett for WJZ. Avadre, thank you. Stay with WJZ. Tomorrow, Officer Caprio will be laid to rest. Her funeral will take place at 10 a.m. at Mountain Christian Church. She will then be buried at Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens. You can get the full list of roads that will be closed at WJZ.com.